Today we will be installing the Perry Company Switchback Retractable Canopy on a Gravely ZTHD Zero Turn Mower. First, we will be installing the bracket plates around the ROPs. To aid in this process, place a washer on one of the 4-inch bolts and insert it through both bracket plates. Once through, place another washer on the end of the bolt and secure it with a quarter inch nut. Using a clamp, hold this bracket assembly on the roll bar, beneath the joint, situating the longer L bracket towards the front of the unit. Insert another washer and 4 inch bolt through the opposite corner of the bracket assembly. Tighten both bolts around the roll bar, securing it in place, and remove the clamp. Insert 4 inch bolts, washers, and nuts through the remaining two holes in the bracket and tighten them around the roll bar. Using a 1 inch bolt and washer, attach the 11 inch extension arm through the center hole. Hand tighten a nut on this bolt to hold the extension arm in place. Rotate the extension upward and use the same bolt and washer combination in the slotted holes. Once these are added, tighten the center bolt to hold the extension in place. Similarly, attach the rotating bracket to the extension arm by inserting a 1 inch bolt and washer through the center hole of this bracket. Hand tighten a nut on the back to secure it in place before using the same washer and bolt combination through the slotted holes above and below the rotation point. Rotate this bracket until it is roughly horizontal and tighten the center bolt only enough to secure it in place. Repeat these steps for the opposite mounting bracket before moving on. Take the smaller of the metal crossbars and align it with the pre-installed bolts shown here. Tighten a nut on the end of each of these bolts enough to hold the bar in place while still allowing it to rotate for operation. For the front crossbar, first remove the latching bracket and follow the same instructions as for the rear crossbar, using the pre-installed bolts shown here. Tighten moderately to secure in place. Rotate the front crossbar forward and attach the Velcro strips on the interior of the switchback canvas around the rear crossbar as shown here. Lean the front crossbar back and attach the front Velcro strips. Deploy the switchback canvas and tighten the latches on either side to secure it in place. Adjust the extension and rotation brackets until the rear crossbar is located just above the roll bar. Take this time to align everything how you want it and tighten all hardware on each bracket to secure the switchback in place. Take each of the included bungee balls and insert them through the holes in the switchback canvas. Loop them around the barrel nut and loop the bungee around the plastic ball to hold the switchback canvas in place. Because your switchback mounts beneath the roll bar hinge, it is completely operable with the roll bar in any position. Simply undo the bungees and lift the canvas to move the roll bar to your desired position. Once completed, simply reattach the bungees and you're ready to go. Congratulations on the installation of your new switchback retractable canopy. If you have any questions, visit us online or call us at 254-756-2139.